Hi, I'm Francis Chan. I wrote a book called Forgotten God, and I'd like to tell you what it's about. It's not a book that bashes the church, first of all. We have enough books telling us the problems in the American church. The problems are obvious. I'm convinced that the answer is just as obvious, though. The answer is the Holy Spirit, and that's what Forgotten God's all about. You see, when you read the, I think what bothers us is we read the book of Acts and we see, wow, there's so much power, there's so much going on, the Holy Spirit is just moving, active. In fact, it says in, in Acts 2, verse 43, it says that awe came upon every soul. It's like the people that saw that gathering or were a part of that gathering were in awe. And obviously they weren't in awe going, wow, that sermon was so good or that, that soloist was amazing. It was awe because they recognized and saw a power they'd never seen before. They witnessed a love amongst the people and a commitment to each other that they'd never seen before. And I, I don't hear people talking that way about their churches. They go, oh, that's a good church, that's a good church, but they don't say, that's a powerful church. Even when we talk about people, we go, oh, he's a good guy, or, or she's, oh, she's so nice. But who, whoever describes someone as powerful? See, see, when I read the book of Acts, I see people as powerful, like in Acts 4, verse 13, I love this. It says, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men, they were astonished and they recognized that they had been with Jesus. I mean, isn't that what you want for your life? It's not just someone telling you, oh, you're talented and complimenting you. You want them to say, wow, you're just an ordinary guy, but I'm, an, I'm astonished by this power. It's obvious that like God walks with you. Like everything you touch, there's a sense in which God is moving through you. So the focus is off of you. See, that's, that's what this book is about. It's about the Holy Spirit. My hope is the same hope that Paul had for Timothy, that, that what he told Timothy, I gotta remind you that you don't, you weren't given the spirit of timidity, but of power, love, and self-control. And my hope with this book is that as you read it, you'll be reminded that it's not about you. It's about the spirit that God's given you. And because of that, you're an amazingly powerful person.